Good morning, we're at the celery fields here in Sarasota. Celery fields is a man-made hill. Uh, when we get on top, you'll see why. Part of, the, part of the flood control for Sarasota County. Very effective, I might add. Back in 95, we had terrible rains and flooding all to uh, Sarasota area, and they excavated these huge lakes and drainage ditches and canals and stuff, and it has mitigated that problem. So anyway, what I'm going to do today, as you can see down here, this is for the benefit of my spiderweb net. We're going to try and get on the air this morning with our magnetic loop antenna and get on the net, so we'll see what happens. It's a very popular hiking area. See, there's a lot of hikers that show up here early in the morning for work or whatever and get their running in. This is also my prep area for my long distance hikes. I will, after the first of the year, start with my backpacks fully loaded and get some exercise up and down these hills. The trails go up and down. And a lot of people, you'll see a lot of people out here in the spring prepping for their AT hikes and summer hiking season. I am also operating on APRS even as I'm walking. So if you go to APRS.FI and put an N2SQ in the search bar, you'll find this track, this track, <laughs> this hike. So, and this video, as you, anyway, I'll post this on YouTube today. But today is the last day of the year. This is December 31, 2014. And I'm using, I got my, luck, uh, my lucky hiking stick that I'm holding the camera on. Anyway, I'm starting to gain some elevation. As you can see, the lakes. This looks like a big hill, but I don't I think the elevation from the base to the top maybe like 70 feet, somewhere in it. There's any, but it's not a lot. Spiderweb net meets at 7.30 local time. It's 12.30 UTC. So I'll get there in plenty of time and uh, get set up and see if they hear me. <laughs> the package I'm carrying is Got the radios, the antenna, the batteries, and the buddy pole support, which I won't necessarily be using. I will not be using on a hike if I take this antenna, if I take the radio at all. I think my primary mission, I'm going to switch hands here, is going to be to complete the hike, not necessarily do something on the air. It's a little Foggy, cloudy this morning. And temperature probably about 60 degrees. That's nice. Anyway, I'm going to uh, shut the camera down so I get up there and get set up. Bye. Get in there yet. <laughs> and be patient. I think I, Charlie's in there, but he's very low this morning. Not like you. Harry's very loud. Harry's speaking S9. N2SQ. N2SQ. Here is November 2, Sierra Quebec, portable.
QRP portable. Hey Jim, can you relay for me? Can Jim, can you relay for me? Alright, Jim, tell him I'm up on the salvy fields. I'm operating at about 15 watts with my magnetic loop antenna. Uh, I'm overlooking uh, the, uh, like it's about 63 degrees here, overcast, and I'm actually videoing this contact, and I'll post it on my YouTube channel this evening, and there's an APRS beacon also of this activity. So uh, I'm running on batteries, similar setup to when I was on Glastonbury, but I have the magnetic loop antenna up. I was playing with that, and it seems to have some success. Where are you, Jim? Okay, I can see your house from up here, probably. All right, just relay that for me, please. No, I will be. the antenna, see if that brings it up any. Uh, the video will be posted this evening. The video will be posted this evening. Harry heard me in Bogota, an S3, uh, right across the street there, I'll get the camera, is w, W9TIR, W9TIR, he lives right over there, uh, here's the Surrey Field, by the way, down the hill, he's got an incredible view from up here, this is the highest point in Sarasota, it's a man-made hill, and there's my setup, let me get the speaker out. So this was a uh, experiment to see if this would be worthwhile dragging with me on my hikes and the answer is no, not at this time. Uh, Jim across the street there, he lives over at Sun, uh, Sun and Fun and he says he was getting me 20 over which doesn't surprise me. Um, right, <laughs> I can see his antenna. but. Anyway, that was, if you're not out there experimenting, trying things, you're never going to learn. And uh, anyway, I got another capacitor I'm going to try. And that'll give me the capability, probably go to the full 100 watts. So it's a bigger capacitor. This is a little guy, and if you don't keep the power down, you'll start arcing over. And... Uh, that's not good. Your SWR go all the way up. So this is the way I tune it. Uh, magnetic loop antenna is a very sharp, very narrow bandwidth. And if you, they're great receiving antennas. But transmitting antennas, the secret is in the capacitor. And this one is just a little guy like this. It's got a reduction gear in it, which makes it easier to uh, tune. But, eh. 
I can't put enough power into it. You can see here, let me see. I'm running at 15 watts. I don't know if you can get that. There you go. Anyway, it's been fun. And I'll wrap this up for now. With these, and I'll hang out here for a while with this spider web net. Anyway, this is the spider web net. They meet every morning at 14347. Frequency on 20 meg, 20 meters. And from 1230 to 1330 Zulu. Net control is down near Bogota. We have people from the Caribbean checking in, Texas, uh, Michigan. Here in Sarasota, we have a few to pick the chicken. It's a lot of fun. And check in, and they'll give you the link to the Google Docs. And you can keep track of what's going on. It's a lot of fun. It's just a, an informal net. And I met a lot of great guys. I met them when I was doing this same thing up on uh, Glastonbury Mountain in Vermont. And I've become friends with them, so I'm enjoying myself. Something to do. This is N2SQ at the Celery Fields. Looking off towards downtown Sarasota there. Uh, I wish the weather was a little clearer. It's very overcast. Okay. I'm going to put this up and let you take a look around. Oh, by the way, over that bridge over there, it's not far, is the big cat habitat. And in the morning and the afternoon, you can hear the cats roaring. As they're getting fed. <laughs> so anyway, and you can see the hiking trails on here, down the hill. There's somebody a walker. They come out here and run and walk on a regular basis. And you can walk all the way out around those lakes. So you can get several miles of hiking and walking in here. So anyway, this is a, a favorite place of Allison on my and I uh, to get out here and get a little exercise. All right, had a fun time today. I also got my. 2 meter rig, I'm going to get on that now. This is N2SQ on the sorry fields on the spider web net. We'll say bye bye for now. Anyway, just got off the net. Uh, just had my turn on the net. And Harry, they gave me a, Charlie gave me an S9. <laughs> I'm excited about that. And, uh, Harry said I was on S4 so he could hear me well. So anyway, somebody's got it. You can't hear him right now, but anyway, Harry, they'll be coming back soon. Anyway, there's my setup. The, feed, the batteries are underneath there in a package. They're the, the nanophosphate type. Let me pull them out so you can see them. Uh, I got them strung together for this experiment. But these are the... Get them from Buddy Pole. The... Uh, Rechargeable nanophosphate batteries. I think these are like, I forgot the stats are two and a half, 2.5 ampere hours. They weigh 13 ounces. You can see them on the Buddy Pole website. And just using the Buddy Pole stand for this, uh, part, for these purposes. There's my uh, loop. As you'll note in the previous video, I had problems getting the SWR down, but I finally figured it out. Got the loop size, the inner loop size corrected. And uh, comes in at one to one. I mean, the, the SWR is absolutely flat once you get it tweaked. And very narrow bended, but it worked great. I'm hoping Harry comes back here, you'll get to hear him. And I'm running my APRS beacon on my VX8. I'm running it. The, the, the greens blink in there, uh, the APR signal's coming in, and I'm set for uh, one minute intervals. So I'm operating one minute intervals on that. Come on, Harry, talk. <laughs> well, I'll come back when he's talking. I don't know what happened to your signal, but it nearly went down there. Mm -hmm. Here, KDWSO, good morning, uh, Senor Bill, HK30 here. KDWSL here. Good morning, Harry. Uh, hope things are well in your neck of the woods. I can barely copy Rick uh, also, and He's up my Michigan. team is He's going to Michigan. So south, but I, I was just not much copy at all. Well, anyway, uh, good morning, Ron, and good morning to the group, and the other Ron, and Charlie, and the whole gang. I uh, got some news about my motorcycle. Uh, they can fix it. They have to order some parts. Need a whole new clutch assembly and a couple of little things, and it's going to cost about the price of well, it's going to be just someplace north of a thousand bucks. 
should be. But hey, if you can't run with the big dogs, I guess you better stay on the little, porch. That's all there is to it. So an extension. I decided to have So I don't have to take the control uh, head on or off all the time. Even if all I do is just, also, just sit on the I'm bike this summer with my helmet on on the center stand. The, uh, pro set. There's no key in it. And I can I'm glad I'm using out here today because it's kind of cool. Let's keep my ears warm, <laughs> actually. And uh, so anyway, I built this. So it brings the connection up. outside the radio, so and I'll just that, plug it in the uh, here radio from the microphone. But anyway, this way, when I'm out on the field, totally cover. All this well here, uh, I'm a little bit envious on the field, I don't have to take the control head to off, which is rather than two. Uh, Thirteen, uh, so probably going to fifteen. Eight, ten, 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 eight
you. The town. She says, no, I think I've got another idea. I want to Say go goodbye. to the town. So we went in and bought these at the place, and then we went to the candy factory and bought some uh, candy for my uh, daughter to sell. She's selling candy.